Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest in Canada. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2010 Grade 5-6 Contest, Question 24. So the question is, if Sidney Crosby scores an overtime goal, then the Pittsburgh Penguins win the game. Which of the following statements is always true? So, in logic, when we have statements like these, they could be abbreviated with letters like A and B. So, if you know about hockey, then you could solve this pr problem pretty easily. But you don't have to know about hockey because you can use a simple formula. And that formula is, if we know that from a statement A follows B, so A follows B, Then the only other thing we know is that from not B, so not B, follows not A. Okay, so let's look at the first option. If Sidney Crosby does not score an overtime goal, then the Pittsburgh Penguins do not win the game. Well, it could have been that the Pittsburgh Penguins won the game, and that means in regulation time, and that means that still Sidney Crosby did not have to score an overtime goal. So, that means that this option is not always true, so it is false. So we can also check if it is false, because it is not A, then not B, and that, but that is not, and that is not what we know. So option A is false. Okay, so let's look at the second option. If the Pittsburgh Penguins win the game, then Sidney Crosby scores an overtime goal. Well, it could have been that the Pittsburgh Penguins just win in regulation time, so the game didn't even have to go to overtime. So that means that B, option B is also not always true, so it is false. We, also, we can also check this because it, because it is B, then A. So that is false. So now, let's look at option C. If the Pittsburgh Penguins do not win the game, then Sidney Crosby does not score an overtime goal. So if the Pittsburgh Penguins do not win the game, that means they either lost in regulation time or they lost in overtime. And then it says, then Sidney Crosby does not score an overtime goal. And that is true, because they lost. So he couldn't have scored an overtime goal. So we know that C is always true. We can also check this because it is not B, then not A, and that is exactly what we know. So we know that C is correct. So let's look at option D. If the Pittsburgh Penguins do not win the game, then Sidney Cr Crosby scores an overtime goal. Well, that statement is completely false, because if the Pittsburgh Penguins lost the game, then Sidney Crosby couldn't have scored an overtime goal, because that means they would have won. So, D is false. We can also check that, because it is not B, then A. 
but that is not what we know. So D is false. So now let's look at option E. None of the other statements is always true. Well, that is false because we know that option C is always true. So C is the answer. This formula, this formula can also be used for many other logical problems. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca caribou.